Well, it certainly was cloudy earlier today. We have managed to get some sunshine to peek through the clouds, though, as you see here from our Border Home Improvement City Cam overlooking Shawnee Mission Parkway just outside of our studios here in Fairway, Kansas. Right now it's 33 degrees out of KCI. South to southeast wind has now lowered to about 9 miles per hour. So earlier it felt like 23. Now it only feels like 25. What a big difference. <laughs> I'm kidding. Certainly going to be cold tonight as we head through the rest of your Thursday into the beginning of Friday. I think we'll get a little more cloud cover overnight and then the clouds will break as temperatures stop right around 28 to 32 degrees and then the afternoon will cloud cover will just increase late in the day but I think enough sunshine and southerly flow will lead to temperatures warming into the 40s just about everywhere with a few exceptions in northern Missouri you may get stuck in the mid to upper 30s from Maryville to Bethany I think we'll get close to 50 in some spots farther south so still expecting those warmer temperatures as we wrap up this work week not much to show you on live power Doppler as you see there the satellite and radar picture We've been dealing with a little bit of cloud cover, but uh, I think as they thin out, well, they'll thicken again overnight into tomorrow. You'll see here on our forecast track, clouds do thicken overnight, but then they clear out just in time for sunrise. And then through at least 8 to 10 a.m., we should be dealing with a partly to mostly sunny sky. I don't think it'll be completely clear. And then the afternoon, as I mentioned, the cloud cover will return by 10 o'clock. Expect an overcast sky, which will hold the temperatures from dropping below freezing, which will set the stage for Saturday morning, where we're expecting precipitation mainly in the liquid form. Temperatures Saturday Saturday morning may get stuck near 40 degrees. The rain will move from the south, spreading northward as we head through the morning. This is 10 a.m. and some of that rain will be heavy at times, leading to some ponding on the roads. So you have to be careful if you are going to be traveling anywhere during the early portion of your Saturday. It looks pretty continuous through the first half of the day until things wind down by 5, 6 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. There may be a few rumbles of thunder within these showers as we head through the afternoon on Saturday, but no severe weather expected at the moment. I think the those just be just enough instability to produce some lightning and then some heavy downpours as well. Then as we get through the rest of your Saturday night by 11, things really quiet down and there's not going to be much left on the radar. This is what it might look like at 11 o'clock and you'll notice it does try to bring in a couple of snow showers in northeast Kansas, northwestern Missouri late Saturday, early Sunday. So there's still the potential of catching a couple of snowflakes, but as far as accumulation, Really not expecting a lot with this next system. It's going to be a big rainmaker for us. As you see here, this is how much rain we could get once all is said and done from half an inch upwards of one inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, especially where those thunderstorms line up. We may get a little bit of accumulation there. Now, snowfall totals, as I've been talking about the last couple of days, this is not going to be a huge snowmaker, at least not for us. It's a different story the farther north you live, mainly near uh, northern Illinois, perhaps even eastern Iowa and southern Wisconsin. You can see almost 10 inches possible from the system in Chicago as we head through this weekend. So this system is going to miss us, at least the colder part of it. But we do get pretty chilly Sunday afternoon. There is a little drop in the temperatures. Winds will be out of the north and northwest. So highs on Sunday will only get to 35 degrees. Our Security Bank 7-day forecast does feature another warming trend or at least a true trend where we're expecting 43 by Monday, Tuesday afternoon 48, maybe even getting near 50 in some spots early on Tuesday. But I think the majority of us will hit 50 by next Wednesday and it really just depends on the timing of this next storm system Wednesday into Thursday because Thursday could also be equally as warm if it slows down. But if it progresses a little bit faster, we may not get there. Brad. All right.